I get asked about GoPro accessories all the time. Which ones should I buy? Which ones shouldn't I buy? And the most common question, what is your favorite GoPro accessory? I don't have to think about it at all because this accessory, it makes all my other GoPro accessories better because it makes them magnetic. This is the snap mount system. And while I've talked about them a ton on the channel before, I've never made one video where I kind of go over all the different all the different little bits that I use from them. And today we're gonna introduce two new mounts. One that I think they've had out for a while, but I've just never mentioned it on the channel. And one that I think it might not even be out yet, actually. We're gonna talk about it today. So first up, what are they? What is snap mounts? Why Why do I love them so much? The the base snap mount bit, this, uh, this piece right here. See how it mounts on your GoPro, or you mount your GoPro to the snap mount. This is now magnetic. So these four bits right here are four magnets in there. So just like this, I can take my GoPro and I like stick it to the side of my van or I could stick it to a refrigerator. You can stick it to metal surfaces. But the reason that, that they make all my other mounts better is because you take these pieces, which are their adapter bits, and now this piece that I used to have to, you know, thumb screw my GoPro onto and thumb screw it off of, now I can, uh, can just mount it like that. And when I want to take it off, I just take it off like that. And the nice thing there is that then when you have multiple mounts with these snap mount adapters on them, moving your GoPro from one mount to the next is, it's just magnetic. You just pop it off this one and put it on that one, pop it off that one, put it on that one. A magnetic way to move your GoPro around from all your different mounts. So that's, that's kind of the basic of the system. There's a lot more to it though. Before we get to all that though, it is the holidays and yes, Snap Mounts is having a holiday sale. Shoot to the first link in the description, shoot over to snapmounts.com and use code HOLIDAY15 for 15% off of your entire order, no matter how much of this stuff you buy, 15% uh, off. Okay, the, the kit that I started with from Snap Mounts is called their Pro Kit. And the kit comes with the, the Snap Mount itself. It comes with one magnetic adapter. It comes with one locking adapter. We'll talk about that in a second. It comes with a back plate and a lanyard. This is like their, this is their Pro Kit right here. Everything you really need. So the magnetic adapter is, is what I kind of already showed you. You slip upside down. You slap it on there like that, you pop it off, super simple. But, but you know, magnets, they're great and they're very strong, super strong magnets, really difficult to shake off, but, but you could. Like in a really bumpy situation, this could slide sideways and maybe you lose your GoPro. So they give you the locking adapter and the locking adapter, I always keep on my suction mount. The locking adapter has got, it's got those tabs right there. And the cool thing with the locking adapter is that instead of just slapping it on like this, you put it on sideways and then you rotate it into position. So now it's magnetically being held in place, but it also has those two physical hooks. And now like, you are not getting this off. There's one there's one time in the world that I don't use even the locking adapter. I don't trust even the locking adapter. We'll talk about that at the end of the video though. But the locking adapter is for like, like mountain biking. You wanna mount this on your bike, you wanna mount it. Maybe you have like cool spot like in your dune buggy and you're gonna mount the GoPro. For sure their most secure adapter. So locking adapter, we've got that magnetic adapter and then the back plate is it comes with this lanyard and you can put it around your neck on the lanyard and then hang this inside your shirt, like right here. And then I can just take my GoPro and uh, magnetically attach it to my shirt. I've also seen people use these back plates like through a backpack, like they'll put this in the pocket of a backpack and then be able to just kind of snap their GoPro onto the outside of a backpack. Uh, yeah, lots of uses for the back plate, but this is, this is the pro kit. This is everything you get right off the bat. You're you're kind of set to go. But then Snap Mounts made they made all sorts of accessories to make this system even better. The first one that, that I got was their snap mat. It's a, a silicone mat that you can put down on things like, like my van. All the times that I stick this to my van, you know, it's like hard plastic on metal. I don't want that to scratch. So you slap that bad boy down first, then you slap on that guy, and now it's protected that metal surface. But then they even one up themselves recently with this guy. This is now their snap mount boot, I think they're calling it. It perfectly fits over this and it kind of lives on there now, right? So now still, still super magnetic. Everything is still fully magnetic, but it now is like a, a built-in mat. So now when I stick this to my van, 
I for sure won't scratch my van and this kind of won't move, go moving around on it because the mat moves with the snap mount. So dang clever, I love that. They also make this guy, this is, it looks like a metal business card, but this is their snap plate and this has 3M sticky tape on one side and then it's a metal plate. So you can now take this thing, peel that bad boy off and stick it to something that's let's say plastic or fiberglass or or wood, I guess, anything that is not metal, so not magnetic, and then all of a sudden you turn it into a magnetic spot to mount your GoPro. But then they said, what if, what if you want all the benefits of snap mounts, but you wanna use it maybe with your mobile phone? They made maybe the most intense phone mount that, that I've ever seen, all aluminum, and it's got a few little dials and a little switchy tab back there. The, the dial is a locking mechanism, so if I unlock this, now this spring-loaded bit can, can open so that I can get my phone up in there. Boom, and then once that is in there, I lock that down and now, now that spring can't lift up and my phone is securely held into this position. And then let's say, let's say I get it lined up somewhere and I'm like, oh, that's, that's perfect right there, but it's a little crooked. Well, there's this little, can you see that little tab on there? That little tab right there, I push that up and now the, the kind of yaw axis I can twist my phone and once I'm in the right spot, lock it in place and it is uh, it is fully locked. This is, seriously, it, it might be the most like robust, like most heavy duty phone mount that I, I've got a bunch of phone mounts, but this might be the best one I have. And the phone mount actually has a secret. They don't even say this, they don't even say this on their website, but check, check this out. Okay, phone mount for, for GoPro, see? It's got like the GoPro feet right there, but look, the GoPro feet, they're just screwed on. And if you take out those two screws, see that piece right there? What's that look like? Arca Swiss. So if you take off the GoPro bit, which obviously makes it now, it doesn't work with your snap mounts, but you could have this like super dope, super robust phone mount, but just put it like on an Arca Swiss plate tripod. I don't think they even mentioned that on their website. And then lastly, a brand new mount that Again, I don't think it's out yet or it's not on their website yet. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be up by the time this video goes up, but this is their new bike mount. And again, they're, they're clever, but they also love using aluminum. And the whole thing is aluminum, which is so rad because dude, most handlebar mounts are like plastic pieces and I don't know, they always freak me out. Anytime I've used a handlebar mount in the past, I, I just, it doesn't feel very strong, it doesn't feel very robust. And this one is all aluminum and then they give you a locking adapter up top. So as you mount this to your handlebars, your GoPro is locked in, it is going nowhere. You put this on a mountain bike and you will not lose your GoPro. It is, uh, yeah, it's on there, man. No chance. And then there's this piece here. So I can unscrew this little bit right here and then lift up and I can twist the GoPro to different angles. So this, this is mounted on the bars now, locked in place. And now I can make the GoPro face me and like shoot up angle at me, or I can make it face forward like so. And then when I have it just how I want it, I just, uh, screw that little piece back in place. And honestly, bikes is kind of one of the best use cases for snap mounts because you're a cyclist having to unthumb screw your GoPro just to maybe like run into a store or go do something really quickly. With this, you just uh, pop your GoPro off, run into a store, do whatever you want. When you come outside, pull this out of your bag, slap it back on there and you're ready to ride again. Okay, when don't I use snap mounts? I mentioned earlier that there is one time when I wouldn't even trust the, the locking adapter. Now the locking adapter, uh, I've had it in dune buggies, I've had it mountain biking, I've used this locking adapter for all sorts of very, very vigorously shooken activities. But the one time, the only time that I won't trust even a snap mount with a locking adapter is anything water based. So if I'm wake surfing or maybe I'm surfing, maybe I'm gonna like go like cliff jumping, like we're gonna we'll go out to Powell and we like jump off the rocks and like dive into the water. Ah, it would be highly unlikely, even wake surfing for somehow the water to grab a hold of this piece and twist it and pull it at the same time but also like, I don't see it being impossible, so I just don't risk it. But in pretty much any other scenario, uh, the locking adapter, it's uh, it's got your back. What do you guys think though? Uh, do you see why why snap mounts are my favorite GoPro accessory? It's hard to even say, I mean, yes, they are a GoPro accessory, but it's almost like, it's almost like this thing that just makes all my GoPro accessories better 
So, yeah. And then any other GoPro accessory questions you guys have, send them my way, put them in the comments, and uh, yeah. Oh, also a massive thank you to everyone that ordered merch last week. We completely sold out of merch in, in one week. We got all the new shirts in and and they went out the door immediately. And now, now they're on back order. And then these hoodies are on pre, that says be a good human right here. They're on the website, but they are on pre-order. So we should be getting them in like two weeks and then we'll start, we'll start shipping them out to you guys. And I hope you, I hope you enjoy the new shirts. I, we worked really hard to like make them, to make them just like the best that they could. Even this hoodie, this hoodie is like, we're calling it the 20 year hoodie. Cause dude, when you get it and you put it on, it's like soft on the inside, you know, you're going to put this on and be like, oh, yeah, I'll have this thing for 20 years, no problem. It's just, it's that hoodie like you would never throw away. All right, I'll see you guys soon.